Hello everyone, this is Amanpreet Kaur and I welcome you all to my lecture series of data quality management in Informatica. I hope you are having a good time. Now today in this video, we are going to learn about sorter transformation. So what is a sorter transformation? Let's understand that first. Sorter transformation is a transformation which is used to sort the data in ascending or descending order using a key value pair. So using a particular column of your data set, we can sort the data in the ascending and or descending order from the source to the target file using the sorter transformation. So let's uh, do the practical and understand it in a deep method. So I begin with my practical. This is my developer. I open my folder. I'm having my folder in which I contain a data called emp underscore data. I'll just load this data to see what kind of data it carries. I'll run the data viewer. So this is my data set, emp underscore data, which contains these set of values. Now, this is my source data. And on this data, I want to apply the sorter transformation to sort the data in descending order by age. I repeat, I want to sort the data in descending order by age. H. Now, when I have multiple values in my age column, and I can see here if there is a column value called as null in the age column. Now, one thing I would like to tell you here is that null is such a value which cannot be assumed by the system as a positive value or a negative value, as a highest value or a lowest value. So, by default, for a system, null is the highest value. I repeat, it is the highest value among all the values, all other values present in the age column or any other particular column. So if I am going to sort the data in the age column, null will appear at the highest if sorted in the descending order by age and it will appear at the bottom if sorted in ascending order by age. I hope my point is clear to all. Null is carrying the highest value in any particular column in the data set. So let's begin with the practical now. As we are doing about the transformation, we need to create a mapping here. So let's right click my folder, new, and then your mapping. So I give a name to my mapping here. So it's sorter underscore mapping finish. So you can see it is available in my mappings folder. Now I am going to bring my source data into the mapping ID. So emp underscore data will come into my ID using the read method. So it's there. Yeah, so here we go. Now the next step is to bring your transformation which you want to use to sort the data. So what I do is I can use the transformation in this available left pane or I can just right click and add transformation. So here I'm going to type my transformation name. So it's sort of, it appears, click and click on OK. So here it comes. Now next method is to drag and drop all the ports from the source data to the transformation. So shift select and drag drop. So here we go. Now the next step is to configure your sort of transformation. So for this what I do is select my sort of transformation go to its properties right now here I go to the sort. Now in the sort menu I need to give a value. Value means a column name on the basis of which I need to do the sorting. So I do here ports, I go to ports, I click on choose and I choose a column as H. I click on OK. Now here I can choose the method. I want to do it by ascending or descending order. I can keep it as descending order. I can use this pop up to select the ascending or descending. So I just keep on click on descending. Okay. And then I click on 
save. So control S is the method to save your mapping. So this is done. Next is to bring the uh, output physical data object to get the data to be transferred in the target file. So for this, again, I go to my data folder. Here I'm having some PDOs. Open it up. I'm having one PDO here available. What I do is I just click on one of the PDO just to save my time. Click on copy. Again, go to PDO. Click on paste. So this is the copy. I just rename it. And keep it as sorted underscore data. Right? So this will be the output file target file of my sorter transformation right then in this uh, as you can see few of the columns are missing we can add some columns so what are the missing columns we don't have jan salary and feb salary i go back under the age i add a port that is your jan underscore salary Keep it as my number because salary is a number. Even if we keep it in string, it is not going to give you error, but we will not be able to perform any arithmetic operation on that data later on. Okay, so this is your FIP salary and keep it as number. So let's go to the advanced just to see the target directory. So target directory is correct. Just rename the output file. So this is would be your sorted underscore output. So file name is sorted underscore output dot txt. Control S just to save this. Go back to your mapping. Bring your PDO in the IDE by drag and drop. Now this PDO will be in the write mode because we want to write the data into that file. Done, done, and now just drag and drop all your ports of transformation onto the onto the PDO sorted PDO. Done. Now just click on Control S to save your PDO and just to verify whether your transformation is working fine or not using the data viewer of your sorter transformation. So here you go. As you can see, the data at the bottom of your sort transformation is in the sorted manner. We chosen the option of sort by age in the descending order. So here you go. You can see that your data null appeared at the top because top null is having the highest value in among all the values available in the particular column and then 29 28 28 25 24 22 now if i'm having multiple 28 values multiple same values in that case your first come first row will be appearing at the top okay so this is all about your sorter transformation now one thing i would like to tell you here is that as you can see in the output we are having two same ages okay Two same ages. Now, if I want that in the output only one should appear, the duplicate values should not appear. So, to make this ensured, what we can do is we can go to the sorter, select the sorter, go to its properties, and at the sort option, we can select distinct rows only. Now, if I select distinct rows only, here this age. Uh, sorting value based on the descending order will be applied only on a distinct rows. Here the output will not carry the duplicate values. Okay? So let's just save this and see what's the output here. Right click and then run data viewer. Okay. Uh, right now. So what's happening here? It is giving you the value 2828 why it is working there so what happens here the complete set of row is not a duplicate row 
here only the age is duplicate so it will give you the output for for both the rows for both the ages if you are having the complete set of row as a duplicate value then it is going to apply the distinct specification so this is all about your sort transformation i hope you like the video if you have any kind of doubt you can just ask me in the comment section please do like and subscribe my channel thank you